Have you ever been flying out west and experienced the series of sudden lurches? Well, there's a good chance you experienced mountain wave turbulence. I'm Max Nunez, a senior aviation forecaster at the Aviation Weather Center, and I'm going to break down what a mountain wave is. Stripping it down to the basics using a fluid model, this illustration depicts what the airflow moving over a mountain would look like and where we would see that hydraulic jump. Kind of like what our friends over here are experiencing in their juiced up low riders. So when applying this to a mountain, turbulence can occur when the wind flow cutting over a mountainous region is A, strong enough, and B, within 30 degrees perpendicular to those ridge tops, often producing a combination of what we call rotor waves at the lower altitudes and braking waves at the higher altitudes. A common telltale sign for your lower altitude rotor waves is the formation of lenticular clouds just past your ridge tops, seen here from several different vantage points. Similarly, breaking waves can be discerned at the higher altitudes when the winds are strong enough. So for your own safety, buckle up the next time a pilot informs you they expect turbulence.